What is up guys, That is here. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, in today's video actually, it's just gonna be a huge, huge, huge value drop for you guys, but I'm gonna show you guys one of the videos that I just recently updated and put into my course. 25% off the link in the description, but I wanna like, I think this is something that almost nobody talks about in the whole dropshipping game. And this is something I did, like me uploading this, like I, I, I promise you like a week from now, there's gonna be all these other YouTube guys posting about something about this. But this is the video, I'm literally gonna show you guys how I edited my Instagram photos using these software and stuff, not, not just slapping a stupid Instagram filter on because that doesn't work, okay? But how I edited my photos to look really, really quality and genuine like this Instagram feed here, pop, okay? Um, how I edit them literally like that the, I, I give you guys all the presets and all that stuff and like where to find like the free software and or the free trial for the software all that good stuff but again guys this is just I'm literally just gonna share with you guys one free video from the course um, one to give you guys huge value because I love doing that and helping you guys out and two as a free hard plug for the course because I love plugging okay so there is 25% off link is in the description uh, remember guys leave a like comment and subscribe. I almost forgot to say, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. But uh, I respond to all you guys' comments, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, I'm literally just gonna walk you guys through. Like, literally, I'm just gonna slap on the course video, like, right after this intro. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, link for the course in the description. Take care, guys, enjoy! What is up, guys? In this video today, we're gonna be going over um, something that I think is actually super, super important that I don't think, like, anyone touches on, at least in this industry. And that's how to actually, like, how I went about editing my photos for my Instagram feed, right? Because again, we're bringing all our traffic from Instagram, okay? And you want, you need a good looking feed. I mean, you don't, you don't need, because like, I had shops that got away with posting, you know, the AliExpress pictures, or just pictures like similar to that. But when I really, really tried and like took the effort to go out and like try my own hand at photography, you'll see the pictures soon and we're about to edit them. But um, when you try and do that and edit it yourself with these presets that I'm about to give you guys, um, that you can really just slap on and it makes it look like a hundred times more professional but with that you have like a very very attractive looking feed that now you know people are like, like it piques their interest right they're like whoa this looks quality I'm sure the website's quality and then all you got to do is make sure your website looks good and the flow from Instagram to your website and so on and so on uh, is, is better is good right so that's what I want to talk about today um, I have the screen share stuff right here um, I had a bunch of audio syncing issues with my last one like these videos dra like they can drag on long because it's like a whole tutorial on a whole new program that I'm sure some of you guys aren't even familiar with um, so I just scrapped it and I'm, re I'm refilming it and hoping the audio works good with the whole syncing and blah 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 okay so that's the video guys um, let's just let's just dive into it right alright let's go alright guys so we are in Lightroom right now and again uh, there's a link under this for your free 14 day free trial for Lightroom and then it becomes I think $9 a month but you also get a few other the programs um, again this is what like top photographers use um, to edit their photos right and we're, we're taking this to the drop shipping game and you're just gonna smash it out of the park alright so this is Lightroom alright this is this is kind of this way. again it looks very very daunting if this is your very first time in the program but I'm gonna walk you guys through like everything you only need to worry about to get your photos looking um, you know very very good for, for Instagram, right? Okay, so again, if uh, like, I mean, once, once you first get this, you're gonna want to import whatever photos you take, right? And for me, I literally like these photos that you see right now on the screen, these were taken about a year ago, right? Me and my buddy, we literally drove up, found a hill with a view, took our cameras, and took some photos, all right? So, again, guys, it just it takes a little bit more effort on your part, but with the reward for having like a super super quality Instagram feed is really what, what what's important here because that, that's what's gonna send traffic and drive conversions through the roof, right? Someone's gonna see a really really cool picture on your Instagram feed or like for your ads, right? Because again, you can use these photos for your ads instead of having to use you know the AliExpress pictures or just like the the lower res you know white background pictures that you see on AliExpress that a lot of people have to resort to and a lot of people are turned off by unfortunately with those ads so that's what we're saying if you take your own photos it looks a lot more one quality it looks a lot more authentic to your brand and it looks a lot more original and unique okay so we're in Lightroom we're gonna edit these photos again all you're gonna do is import um, these photos when when you're like you just select your source like wherever the photos are you're gonna import them okay and once they're there, you're gonna like you're gonna see them all lined up here, okay? Don't worry about anything. Just click the develop tab, right? This is where like all the editing goes on, right? And this this picture's not even in focus, right? But I just want to show you guys um, the presets that I'm giving you guys for free, right? Like photographers sell their presets for money, and it's just like you guys are in the course. I'm giving you these five or six or however many there are for free. Um, literally, literally the exact same ones I use, okay? So I want you guys to pay attention to this. Literally, all you have to do is oh, first you have to install the presets, right? So when you get your presets, you're gonna go up to edit on the top left. Of, of the Lightroom tab, or no, sorry, you're gonna go to the Lightroom tab, 
and click preferences, all right? This is for Mac. If it's Windows, just click the Lightroom, like same, same sort of deal, right? And then you're gonna click the presets tab here inside the preferences like window, okay? Then you're gonna click show Lightroom presets folder, all right? You're gonna go into Lightroom here, and then you're gonna go into develop presets and the, the presets that 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 you download from from my link, all right? I'm like so, the Adobe 14 Day Free Trial is gonna be under, and the preset like my presets that you're gonna slap on your photos are gonna be downloaded for free um, with another link down there, probably from wherever I list all my PDFs and stuff too, all right? So you can go in here and you're just gonna paste them into this folder called User Presets, all right? Just right in there, you're gonna paste them and then you're gonna restart Lightroom, right? You're just gonna close it, exit out, and then open it back up again, all right? So once you've done that. You'll see these on the on the left of your screen, right? And this is just like one. See, we just clicked it. The whole like kind of like atmosphere of the image changed, right? And again, my my personal favorite one that I use the most on my feed was called the one called Car Shoot. Um, again, that's 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 uh, I mean that's the one I used and it worked out really really well and people just love the feed. And again, guys, so look, what exactly a preset does for your photo is if you look at the at the right side of my screen, right where I'm scrolling and scrolling, you see all this stuff. And this is just one section, right? This is just under the basic section. You still have tone curves. Um, Literally everything okay like I'm not even like like verse in like half of this stuff But I know enough to where I can make photos like look really really good like paint my Instagram feed, right? So Again look at this. So this is all zeros right now. Okay, nothing's changed everything is zero That's like because this photo is completely unedited all right what a preset does okay is it literally slaps on and changes a lot of these numbers, right? So I just click this bright moody one. Okay, everything on the right changed now, right? To these numbers you see, like you see, some of them haven't changed, some of them have, right? And some presets change a lot more, and some change a lot less. Okay, so that's that we're doing, right? So this one, you know, exposure changed. Um, a lot of this other stuff changed, and you're just gonna kind of want it. Like it depends on your own picture, right? It depends on the lighting in your picture, how dark or bright it is. You usually want brighter pictures, guys. Um, just kind of I mean, it conveys the, the product more. I usually shy away from darker pictures So again, if there's good lighting or like right before sunset like golden hour as photographers would say is like the best time Like we went during golden hour um, to get these photos Okay, and I want to I want to show you guys just slapping on presets and how easy that is to do and use and then you know Put on your Instagram feed or something like that. Okay, because again I'm gonna show you guys a little screenshot of the Instagram feed to the right of the screen. Um, that's what ours look like, literally with these presets, okay? Literally, we j I think we only used Car Shoot literally for half of them, okay? Like the, the preset called Car Shoot. And that's what you really gotta do. It's literally just slap, like, I want, I want this to be so easy for you guys that all you have to do is click the preset and then export the picture. Again, it depends on your photo as well, but um, I'm gonna show you guys how to like do small tweaks and stuff like that um, to get the photo looking, looking really, really quality, okay? so. My favorite one is called car shoot, right? So right now you see in the main screen the, the the picture's just like there It was just like a raw picture. That's how it looks after we like took it on the camera, okay? If I click car shoot look what happens See how it all kind of just it literally just all changed right the numbers on the right all changed, okay? Everything changed, okay? Literally like every like a lot of like like transport like you don't have to worry about that um, What you really want to worry about is the basic stuff the the ones that you're probably gonna be changing the most when you're playing with your own pictures guys is the exposure tab so that's literally gonna change, you know, how how dark or how bright as you see what's like happening, right? That 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 one is probably the one you'll be playing with the most, because most of these presets, everything else is covered. Exposure just helps you with the lighting, because it depends on you know the lighting in each individual picture, right? Because none of them are like the same. Um, so exposure is the ones you want to play with the most. Again, guys, um, playing with just the stuff around the basic is literally all you need to do, or like all you need to worry about. At least for just looking, like having a quality Instagram feed and quality, you know, ads and shoutouts that that look really, really good. Um, which one we're about is exposure, right? That changes the brightness. Um, contrast literally just changes how like uh, colorful, I guess you could say. Like, again, again, I'm not a super versed photographer. Right? I I learn this stuff by playing around and just seeing what looks good. All right, so that's <clears throat> I'm really telling you guys what I did. And now what you guys can do, because again, it's just playing, it's just experimenting with the software, right? Highlights is like, just changing like the whites and stuff like that. Um, shadow, like, you guys can like, it's pretty self-explanatory, just tweak and tweak and tweak. But again, with the presets, there isn't much tweaking you really need to do, um, like to, to actually be able to use them, okay? So, again, we can go through all these presets and you can see kind of like the, the theme or like the, the, the atmosphere that each photo kind of gives, right? So this one's called Darker Greens. Looks a little bit more moodier. Um, this one looks a little like softer, more like vintage kind of feel, right? This one's called kind of visco. I don't know. I don't know what to name it, okay? Um, and then this one's called lighter cherry. It just looks a little softer, right? The lighting is a little bit softer. Everything's a little bit more smooth. Um, and this one's called <laughs> penthouse day because I used that preset for something else um, for, for a penthouse shoot. But you see this one looks like it brings, it brings out the colors a lot more, okay? My two favorite ones are car shoot and penthouse day. 
That's the one, like those are the primary ones I used on my Instagram feed. Most of it, I'd say 60, 70% was the car shoot preset, okay? Literally, I just slapped that on and I, and I posted, okay? Now, we'll take a look at this one. So, see this picture right here? This is what it looks like completely raw. It looks a little homemade, like, right? It doesn't, it, like, if pictures aren't edited, they look kind of cheap, right? So, what we want to do is slap a preset on, okay? Now, watch this, alright? I'm going to just slap on this bright, moody one. It looks good. It looks good, right? Obviously, you can, you can tweak whatever you can, like, I mean... It's up to you how you want to do it, okay? But the car shoe one is my favorite, okay? Look at that, look at that. It, like, that preset itself just made the product look so much more, you know, expensive, um, like, like, quality, and just, you like, like authentic, you know, just the brightness, the exposure, it, like, it just gives a whole new vibe to it than, like, watch, if I press reset, then that. That looks, like, more like a homemade picture, like, mom and pop, like, iPhone, you know, just I, just, I just took a picture trying to sell it on Instagram, right? But you slap this on, and next thing you know, like, you look like you had a professional photographer take that photo, and you're selling a really quality product, right? That necklace, I believe, was only $4 on AliExpress. So, that's, that's literally what you guys gotta do with your photos, guys. It take, again, it takes a little bit more effort. You're going out there, and you have to take photos on, you know, a camera, or even the iPhone 7 Plus, or whatever, the portrait mode stuff, that works now, just because technology is getting better. But, um, again, I, like, if you have a camera, do that. If you know photographer friends that are willing to help you out, you can tell them, like, yay, hey, I just have a few products. Do you mind taking some photos with them so I can experiment or something like that, right? This is this is what you want to do, okay? Again, we'll look at all these other ones too, and I'll show you guys. See, so this one, the lighting is not that good because the sun's back there, the hand's blocking out. It's a little dark, right? If you go to car shoot, it just gave it a whole new theme. Like, look at do you guys. Do you guys see? Like, it it made it look quality, okay? Um, we can play with the bunch. Like, Penthouse Day makes it look really really dark, but again, this is where you change the, the stuff on the right, the sliders, right? So we can up the exposure just like a little bit or something like that, okay? And again, if you think this is like too orange or something like that, you can get more complex and scroll down to, uh, hold on, open this tab, right? The HSL tab, I don't even know what that means. Oh, hue, saturation, um, luminance, okay. You can go down here and go to saturation, right? If you think there's too much of a color, you can tone it down, right? We can take down the yellows, you see this? You see like what's happening to the grass and stuff. The sunset, we can, we can completely turn that off. That's orange, right? It doesn't look as good, right? You want a little bit of color. But again, guys, it's just playing with these sliders. And again, these presets change. Like, you see all these numbers are changed, okay? So these presets do it all for you. And again, if you are a photographer or if you know photography, then you know, like, this, this, this is super easy to do. But I'm trying to accommodate the people that, you know, have no idea how to use, you know, a software like this and want really, really quality photos on their Instagram feed so that they can convert really well and, you know, obviously, like, be successful is dropshipping. So, that's the thing. With dropshipping, you know, even though the products aren't yours, you're acting as the middleman. Um, ordering them to your door, taking a bunch of quality pictures makes your feed and your business just look that much more, out, like, above all these other regular dropshipping sites, right? It's like, it's like going the extra step and all these small things that, like, people don't talk about that, that are really, like, get you out there, okay? That's the thing. And then, I mean, we're just going to go through and edit, edit the rest of these photos, right? This one is a bag that we sold. Um... This was like $30 on AliExpress and we sold it for like $65 or something like that, okay? Like, margins guys, Mar margins, margins. Alright, so we click this on, that looks okay. Again guys, my favorite one was always the car shoot one. Do you, do you see that? Okay, look at this, this is the car shoot preset. If I reset it, it looks really homemade and cheap, okay? Car shoot, boom, it already looks like quality. Alright, even like, I think Penthouse thing might look good on this too. But, I mean that looks alright. Uh, but again guys, you're just messing around with the presets, you can change the sliders on the right and left just however you want. But again, this, this is literally all you have to do. The presets are downloadable right under um, right under the platform link, like where all the links are and stuff. And then the Adobe 14 day free trial. Again, if, if you get it and you're just like, this is way over my head, um, that's fine. But again, guys, you don't have to worry about anything else. Like any of these tabs, like library, develop, map, but you don't have to worry about any of that, okay? So you only are gonna mess with the develop tab, okay? After you're in the library tab and you've imported your pictures on the bottom left here, you import them, you have them here, all you do is move to develop, you have your pictures here, you have the pictures that you've already imported on the bottom here, so you just click them when you want to work with them, okay? And like, here's this one, this is dark, let's just edit this one real quick. Um, we can throw this on, see what happens. Okay, we'll update the exposure just a bit, like that. Okay, see, so like this. Now, say we have a picture like this, okay, we're done. Uh, how do we do? You're gonna click the top left, okay? And then you're gonna go to export. And that's literally all you have to do, right? And then you're gonna choose your destination folder right here. Okay, and you just click export. Okay, guys, that's all you have to do. And then from there, you just send that to your phone or email it to your phone. Do whatever you want to get that to your Instagram feed. All right. So that's the that's this video on like how, just how I edited my Instagram photos, guys. I want to make it like as easy as possible for you guys to win. Um, so ba yeah, that, that's that's the video, guys. Like the presets are down below. Install them. Um, I think. Uh, 
who is, I think Marcus was asking in the Facebook group about um, just where the, where the other videos are at, guys. And again, it was an audio sync issue. Um, I'm refilming everything so I can get these out to you guys quick as hell. But I, like again, I'm always trying to upload more videos for you guys. So to help you guys out. So that's the video. Um, again, yeah, the presets are down below. The 14 day free trial is down below. Then it, be, it does become $9.99 a month. You get this software and I think Photoshop as well, which you guys don't need to worry about, at least for your Instagram feed. Um, Lightroom is really all that matters. Um, and like, I've tried to make it as like, I've tried to show you guys how to do it relatively easy without too much of a hassle um, on your end. Again, it's a very simple process. You import photos, right? Well, after, after you get your presets installed, okay? You import photos, you have them in the library, you click develop, you edit them, just slap a preset on, maybe change a few sliders, okay? And then you export them and post them on Instagram. Just doing that extra amount of work, um, aside from like actually going out and taking the photos, just doing that extra amount of work is what will set your Instagram feed apart so much more than all these other dropshipping sites, okay? So that's the video, guys. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one that I upload in the course. All right, take care. That was the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got like some value from that. And um, I mean, I, ho I hope that puts your story, you know, like one step ahead of everyone else's. And again, guys, um, that was a video from my course. The link is in the description for 25% off before it does wrap up. I got these other big projects launching soon, so I can't keep it open, unfortunately. But uh, once you are in, you get it for life. And I do keep adding videos in there. Like, I, like this is one that I just added like a few days ago. Um, we got a bunch more in there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the, in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, and um, I'll respond to you guys down below, alright? Take care.